Welcome to the World Tarot News for the 7th of October 2023. Holy Spirit, show us what we need to hear in spiritual news today. Zion of the Fairy, 43, and the Sun. Somebody is going to be attending a very posh event. It could be tonight. 24, King of Swords. She could be attending this event with a man. 40, Amphitheater. 6, the Pegasus. This woman could be flown somewhere. 64. Somebody be 64 or born in 64. The 4th of June and the 6th of April could be significant. Gemini and Aries. As well as Libra, Aquarius, Cancer and Virgo. Strong Libra. 34. Zaratan. Somebody could be 34. Mirroring again. 43 and 34. I feel like there could be three different women. One's 43, the other one's 34, and the third one is 40. These women could have been promised to be initiated into a coven or cult, but they're actually going to end up being the sacrifice. Okay, clarify who's being sacrificed by this coven or cult. I've had multiple warnings for women in the spiritual community being lured into these groups. The only reason why these groups are watching us and um, collecting people from the spiritual community online is because they need to make a sacrifice for themselves so that they can move up in the ranks. 10. Stone Fist. The 6th of October was yesterday. Somebody could have already traveled somewhere. 29, the moon. The 29th of October is going to be very significant. That's the night after the full moon, the hunter's moon. These women are literally going to be hunted down through the forest at night during the full moon. 31, the troll. And Amarok, the 31st of January, one of these men who will be hunting these women or one of these women could be born on the 31st of January, could be an Aquarius, could be a Capricorn, could be a Taurus, could be a Pisces or a Pisces moon. 44, the lunatic. 47, the tree of life. The man could be in his 30s or 40s. Either the man's going to turn into a werewolf and literally hunt down the women or he's going to be wearing some kind of disguise. This could be a costume party. The women could be asked to attend a costume party, a masquerade ball. But then the men are actually going to turn into whatever creature they're supposed to embody. These men could also be hunting the women down with dogs and with weapons. Are these women going to lose their lives in the hunt? Yes, they are. Both of these are yes cards. The Righteous Coal one, 48 and 30, the Empress B. This represents Aquarius and this represents Libra for me. Air signs. Air signs represent a yes for me. Two yeses. Two women in particular. There's a man who's definitely a skinwalker. I've been picking up on this before over and over again. He's undead. He has no soul. And he can turn into animals. This is very terrifying. These women are going to die a very terrifying death and they're gonna be very dressed up. That's what I'm getting. They're gonna be looking very glamorous, trying to run through the bushes with their long dresses. For the magic bag, 11, the magic whistle. These men could have a dog whistle and they could be setting either dogs or wolves on these women. 13, Avalarian, that's my death card. They will die. If these women go to this event, they will die. 525, five, Leah, they will be hunted down. What I'm getting about this event is that actually it's dedicated to Artemis. 
there are multiple cards here making me think of that. Artemis was the goddess of the moon and of the hunt. But these are all men worshipping Artemis and actually sacrificing women to Artemis. Which is ironic. It's a group of misogynistic men who worship a female goddess and sacrificing females. Of course, it doesn't make sense, but... Um, Yes, not many things make sense in the world. 26, Diana the Fairy, Diana, Artemis. Yeah, exactly. The Cult of Artemis. 25, the Castle in the North and the Temple of Fire. This could be happening in England or Scotland. 525, five, Leah, again. A Hunter Woman. Hunter Woman. These women could even be burnt at the stake, like witches used to be burnt at the stake. Yes, it's true. By their own valentines. Bullet for my valentine, 14th of February, could be significant. Gemini, Capricorn, and Aries. 28, Garuda. 42, the star. 12, the wise old lady. 5 to 5, Leah. Forty-five, the Lake of Fairies. This man was a serial killer, basically. He sacrificed many women in his life. Whoever this man is, could be multiple men. Could be a Libra and an Aries, specifically. Could be an Earth sign too. He's got a big body count, and it's not what these women think that is. One, Leah. 41, Smash Tree. Eight, Mishi Peshu. Somebody's definitely a Capricorn or a Taurus. The hunter is going to be taking Snow White into the woods. This could be somebody's own daughter or wife or partner. These men could have had to sacrifice other people and they could have failed in some of these sacrifices and now they have to sacrifice somebody very close to them. Tudor, 22. 18, Ho'o. 7, the Siberian Wolf, the 18th of July. One of these men did something on the 18th of July. He wanted to sacrifice his counterpart on the 18th of July, but this sacrifice failed. So now he's going to have to sacrifice somebody closer to him. Could be a mother figure around him. Could be his own mother, the mother of his children, his wife, etc. The 26th of July and the 26th of February could be significant too. 39 in Kanyamba. 26 and 39 are both multiples of 13. Somebody tried to take somebody out repeatedly and failed. 222 could be significant. The entities this man has summoned want a sacrifice. The entities were supposed to sacrifice his counterpart. So he's going to have to either put himself up for the sacrifice or sacrifice somebody else, somebody he really cares about. Who does he have to? Let's see. Again, it could be a mother figure. Could be his mother or the mother of his children. <sighs> this man could be married and has a family, but he has another... He has a true counterpart somewhere, but he didn't want the counterpart. He would rather sacrifice the counterpart and marry somebody else. That's what I'm getting here. 25, the gargoyle. He could be drinking a lot. He could be very depressed. 23, the kraken reversed. 10, the siren. The 23rd of October. 47, the tree of life reversed. He's drinking and he's sad because he knows that he's going to have to sacrifice a family member. 
somebody be born on the 23rd of October or somebody's traveling somewhere for this sacrifice on the 23rd of October. Who's the sacrifice? Please show me the sacrifice. Who's going to be the sacrifice? 23, the magic wolf. It might be him. 9, Sharnabon, the wizard. The 23rd of September. That was the equinox. Whoever he sacrificed on the 23rd of September is going to pass away. Twenty-five, the gargoyle. The twenty-fifth of September and the twenty-fifth of October could be significant, and the twenty-third of September and the twenty-third of October. It could be an elder in his family. It could be a mother, a father. The sea lion, thirty-three. It could be his master or um, it's a master magician. He's going to take out the master magician, 7-7, seven, seven, the moon. Could be a mother and a father. Both his parents. 22 Quetzalcoatl. 22 seven, seven, 33. Some very powerful people are going to cross over. Look, 33 again. 11, all these are master numbers. That's very interesting. So this man worked with a number of very high ranking magicians and all these people are gonna pass away for helping him. So that means this man's divine counterpart is more powerful than all these magicians and him put together. That's very interesting. <laughs> there we go. Fascinating, 20. Kanotila, 18, Stone Fist. He could have been doing this since 2018. He could have been trying to take out his counterpart since 2018. Maybe even 2011, depends. 34, the Mace. So him and all his um, group here who have done something together on the 23rd of September, they're all gonna say bye 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 yep anything else the sun 27 38 the empress of the fairies so this man could be married he might have a pregnant wife or he has children 15 Sarah for the magic bag He could have a wife and a daughter. 35, the youngest son and a son. 32, the naughty bridge. This man could have children in their 30s or teenage children. Forty-two, the rainbow snake. Somebody could be forty-two. His son or his brother. Could be doing something similar to him. He could also be the youngest in the family. He could be the youngest son. He could have sisters and brothers. Or he has an older sister or brother. Somebody's definitely going to be sacrificed. The number 14 could be significant. Who's going to be the sacrifice? Like I said, I think this is um, a whole group of people. 27, the sun. 27 is here twice. Somebody born on the 27th could be sacrificed. The temple of earth. There's definitely going to be an actual physical death here. That's what I'm getting. Leo, Scorpio, Sagittarius could be significant. There's going to be a burial. That's definitely what I'm getting. All these cards came out in reverse. 29, Amarage. They couldn't sacrifice who they were meant to sacrifice. That's exactly what I'm getting. So the whole group of people 
who are involved in this sacrifice are going to be buried by the 29th possibly, so right after the full moon. Harsh. <laughs>